All right, welcome back to our Guild Wars 1 Nostalgia playthrough. You might notice that we are in Lion's Arch now. I put a pause on my Thoros Furnace uh, mini-series for now. I think it's going to be a little bit too tough to do that without heroes or without other players. And uh, we had quite a few people do the vote for... Uh, this next playthrough so i think uh everyone had a really gr great idea of of what i should do next with the playthrough many people thought you know following the lore eye of the north would be a great idea and other people thought no maybe keep this mesmer and just go straight to factions um and then some people thought no make a new character i th i think there's all really great ways to go about uh, playing this game which is another reason what makes it so great it's not it's not completely linear uh you can you can mix and match uh campaigns you can take different quests you can avoid certain missions you can skip certain content but uh it seems like the majority vote was with 50 there were, there were 18 votes total which i i think is pretty freaking great so thank you so much for voting uh, the the winner is with 56% votes uh, telling me to go continue on with my Mesmer on to factions. So thank you again so much for voting. Um, it was really, it really um, is encouraging to just see how many people are interested in the way that I do this playthrough. So anyway... Uh, the way that we do it, we need to find a quest. I believe this guy, first watch, Sergio gives it to us. Minlos. Huh? Oh, there's a hard mode version of Galrath? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we're ready. That's a 30,000 experience quest. That's insane. Uh, we are not ready for that. Uh, instead, we will do Menlo's request. And... He's going to require us to find Menlo because he's heard some some uh, disturbing news from Kanta, which is where Factions takes place. I'm going to take that quest and we're going to leave this lovely continent of Tyria. Fun fact, Tyria is the name of this continent and it is also the name of the world that uh, Guild Wars takes place in. The place that we are going to is Factions, which... Where did my quest go? Oh, it goes under Krita mission. Interesting. We have so many so many quests that we need to go back and do. Uh, Menlo's request. And we'll get our henchmen here. Uh, we don't really need them. Maybe just a healer would be okay. They are only level 10 after all. Uh, but we'll just we'll just go ahead and grab them all. That's fine. All right, I'm very excited for this. Factions is my favorite campaign, just aesthetically. Um, Prophecies has a has a you know place in my heart. It's the first time I experienced Guild Wars from the beginning, but faction just is different. In my younger days, I trained in the distant land of Kantha at the famous Xingjie Monastery. I studied under Master Togo himself. Yeah, I remember Master Togo. Though it has been years since I have seen Master Togo in Kanta, its lands will remain in my heart always. So Menlo is from Kanta. Okay, that's cool. Uh, yeah. The streets of Kanta threatens to destroy all of Kaining. Uh, if you're up to the task, talk to Jiaju Tai in Lion's Ark. Book passage to Kanta and meet me there. Oh, well then why did we... Okay, whatever. <laughs> why, did... why did we have to go outside the city for that? Uh... Anyway. We could also go to Alona. We could go to Eye of the North. That was another thing. No one, no one suggested in the votes that I go to Alona next. Uh, I kind of can guess why, but I thought that was kind of interesting. I left an option up for other and pretty much the only two choices people cared about was either going to Eye of the North or Factions. 
if I were to have made a new character to do factions, it would have been Ritualist. Um, so that's, you know, I'm just, that would have been nice to experience that too. I've never really played much Ritualist, so I didn't do that. Oh, this person has another quest also. Oh, not going to take it. We want to go. We could also just talk. <laughs> Let us talk, Grocery Finder. Who are you? I am Jia Ju Tai. Mistress of seven merchant fleets, authority of Emperor of Kanta. Okay, where is Kanta? I wonder if this NPC was always here before our factions. Past the ruins of ore, past the islands of fire, past the crystal lands of the burning sun, and beyond the clashing seas, only the greatest sailors dared journey. I have such a journey, I assure you. So Kanta is really far, pretty much the other side of the world of Tyria. All right, let's go. There's a plague. People are disturbed. This word disturbing keeps getting thrown around. So things must not be doing so well. Whoops. Let's go. All right. <laughs> they really want to make sure you confirm. All right. That was a fast, fast sailing journey. So now we are in factions. Totally different area. Huge continent. And we start, as a Prophecies player, we start in um, Painting Center, actually. Okay, we can't, uh, a terrible plague. Okay. You wrote your spell blade. So we already get some mission, primary missions right off the bat. Missions for you to meet, uh, left a message for you to meet up with him. He's a nice enough fellow, but it was a little distracted by a sassy little blonde he had with him. Okay. That's a little sexist. Sassy little Ron. Would he have used the word sassy if it were... Alright, I'm not gonna go... <laughs> I'm not gonna go down there. Uh, it's funny. It's funny though, like that... That just... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anymore. I just think that's funny. So we're with the Menlo Sen Devona crew. And... Let me kind of see what they have to say here. He's, he's distracted. He wants to help out. Okay, now he's running. Jaime, Menlo, oh, my good friend. It's excellent to see you. Your timing is most fortunate. Give me a hand with these things, would you? And yeah, you would have been in trouble otherwise. We're also keeping our illusionary weaponry uh, build. I think it's pretty fun. I don't mind switching to another build, especially once we start capturing other faction skills. But... Yeah, illusionary weaponry is just so much fun. Thank you so much for your help. These vi these vile creatures are everywhere. It's no place. No, it seems no place is safe. Okay, it's been too long. She's a monk. Very cool armor. Heard you were expected. It is so good to see you. That's Jamie Menlo. He's a girl. All those stories about your old friend growing up and you never. All right, Sin and Menlo are kind of an item, aren't they? You never asked Sin, and I don't see that it matters. Stories, there are so many, eh, Menlo? I swear it seems like looking... <laughs> okay. Wow, she's very possessive of Menlo. Interesting. Little girl, lady, this little girl will show you a big pain if you're not careful. Imagine you give Menlo quite a pain. Oh. Finally, Aiden talks. He doesn't really talk that much. Really to make friends. And Jamie, please, we have more important matters to deal with. We must work together. All right. Let's get on. Get on with the task. Menlo's right. Let's focus on our task. Oh, that's what I'm saying. You all came to Kanta to help us fight this plague. We must find Master Togo and learn how you can best aid his effort. Okay. The, right away, just the scenery, the way everything looks is totally different than in Prophecies. It almost seems like Prophecies is a more like primitive, primitive place. I mean, a lot of the civilizations have been destroyed and at war for a long period of time but kantha is just super developed like huge 
All right, we got lots of quests here. I don't think we need to do all of them. Yeah, so this one is if we want to go to Elona, which we do not right now. But yeah, this is Kaneng Center. Uh, so we have a couple options. We could go ahead and go into the main missions for factions, which would require, which would let us, you know, explore all down here and complete the campaign or we could go to the docks over here or over here somewhere i can't remember and go to the starter island which is Xingjie island and do the original missions for those um yeah i haven't quite decided what to do i think we'll just could yeah what should we do let me think let me think about it Okay, I decided I do have this primary quest. Welcome to Kanta. So let's just let's just follow this for now. We can always go back to Xingjie Island. But since we're prophecies players, we're gonna continue on with the main quests. And wow, there's a ton of henchmen we can choose from. We can only I guess Menlo and Sin are doing their own thing. Or maybe maybe they have to come with us here. That's why they're not available. I'm not sure. Uh, so we can bring the three henchmen from Prophecies, which I think I will, just because we are from Prophecies. And, uh, we're gonna need a healer. I should, this is much easier to just go through the search function. Bring a healer, let's get the Ritualist, so we can bring two more. How about another Mesmer, won't, would, would never hurt. And finally... We have a ranger, we have a fighter. We could go with an assassin. Let's go with the assassin because we're in factions. Let's just bring the new characters. Panaku. 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 Yeah, obviously, factions is very Asian influence. One of the main reasons why I think I loved it so much. Uh, let's go. I'm expecting this to be quite a big difficulty increase from... From uh, prophecies. This pro part of the uh, city has countless dens of thieves, petty assassins, other unsavory characters. If present company is any indication, the city is obviously crawling. So she just really hates Jamie. Weapons ready. Loves Kanta, but I'm shocked at how little has changed. Oh, interesting. I was just talking about how developed it is. How developed it is. Not afraid to discover what damage the plague. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's go. So we're meeting up with Togo. Is that what's going on? Travel with Brother Minlo to find his old teacher, Master Togo. What we're doing. Such a change of scenery. So cool. We just follow this city's like a maze funny because like we're technically still in caning sense caning city like all of this is caning city but it's all explorable area that's how unsafe the city is people fighting oh here we go the guards are fighting the afflicted warriors Good thing that at least the NPCs are all level 20. I don't like whenever they give you NPCs to help and they're all like level 10. Oh, I forgot to put illusion or weakness up. It's not really safe to cast illusion or weakness in battle though. Oh, they disenchanted my weaponry. Wow, I do. Those warriors must have uh, fear frenzy up because I did like 84 damage per hit. A lot of damage. All right, let's cast this. 
I, I guess we go this way. Oh, we can actually craft weapons here. In Drakonar's Forge, we couldn't get any weapons. Let's look at some of the Mesmer. We have a nice um, Illusion Scepter. We don't have any Domination weapons, but that's something we need to be on the on the uh, look for. That's like just as good as our Scepter, isn't it? like the same stats i guess it is very expensive though hmm that's something to keep in mind how about the sword maybe sword looks cool but it doesn't doesn't really matter i was hoping we could get something with like energy on it uh, so I might make that domination spell, uh, uh, primary weapon. That's pretty good. Oh, there's another sword here. Same. Wow, so these are really good weapons. Good to keep in mind for, like, hero weapons or something. We can come back here. Emmy and Chio. Ritualist and... Assassin Sisters. There's a quest over here too. I'm just going to look at it real quick. Okay. I'm not going to do it right now. I don't want to spawn more enemies or something. Well, Menlo just knows everyone. <laughs> more girl than twins know that. <laughs> uh, the writers. No concern with the situation. All I need to know, friends. Truly, there are dark forces at work in Kantha. I will do all in my power to help put an end to them. I hope I can count on your help. All right, let's go. Where is Master Togo? We expected to meet him here. Togo sends his regrets. He was forced to continue to Vizuna Square without you. He and some others from the monastery have traveled there to learn more about the plague. Yeah, so the way they did it was pretty cool is is um this first mission is actually has two starting points depending on if you were from prophecies or from factions so from factions you traveled with togo to the starting area and from prophecies we're traveling with menlo to this mission starting area that might be something we can do is try and get some human players because this mission coming up it uh actually has it allows for two separate player parties to to uh complete it together so it's like i think there's two or three of them total in the factions campaign very cool we have a lot of like speaking of we have one two three four five extra Level 20 NPCs here. Oh, I'm using my scepter. Darn it. Like, why am I not running up to them? Get the armor boost, at least. Oh, there's a Mesmer boss. We could have captured the one. The first faction's Mesmer skill already. What does he use? Empathy. Expel hexes. Remove up to two hexes from target ally. Uh, it's not that great, anyway. I mean, it is great, but it's not a spell that I think we're necessarily going to have on our player character. This is pretty much impossible to fail because we just have an absolute army with us. Spirit of Light, target gains 14 health per second, and an additional 14 health 
I didn't see it. I guess that's what my um, ritualist spirit henchman does, or maybe maybe it's the uh, Heo who does that. Oops. Yeah, that's a shame. The ritualist weapons don't actually help me because I'm using illusionary weaponry. I can't, I can't land any hits. Yes, with that. Like some of the names of the characters are like obviously Japanese influence. Some of them are more Korean influence. I think they did a really good job with factions of blending like different Asian cultures together. I can only speak for like the Korean aspect of it. And a little bit of the Japanese, but yeah, I, th I think they did a really good job. It's not like heavily... Uh, one necessarily one culture over the other Like even some of the weapon skins they use some Like old Chinese style weapons Old Japanese style weapons Man these enchantment removals are kind of annoying. I Don't think I'm gonna be able to use this uh, build much longer unless I can cover it more effectively. Armor? Oh, so he sells prophecies armor here. So, so factions characters who want to get some cool prophecy threads like mine, they can come to these explorers to, uh, or these, uh, merchants out in the exploration areas to get this. Oh, Chio died. Now what? Is she gonna... Did she get resurrected? She's not just gone, is she? That's kind of sad. Typically, typically these extra allies usually don't um, get resurrected. Like, I think even if we had a resurrection skill, we couldn't resurrect her. We're going the wrong way anyway, I think. Yeah, the enemy groups are huge. There's an assassin boss there. Yeah, so when can we get... Like, how do we get Assassin and Ritualist as our secondaries? Is that something that has to come later? Because there's obviously... Maybe there's like a quest I can take later. I can't remember. And that double dragon is really tough. Oh, yeah, we lost Dio. We lost the the two sisters, I guess. That's sad. I do really like this blackout skill. I think it's really strong. Especially against casters. And especially against healers. Just one skill that completely shuts them down. Alright. Guardsman Chow. Mizuna Square. Yeah, so this is four and quarter. This is the first mission for Prophecy's characters. Oh, ask me to keep an eye out for you all. Oh, he is ahead. Let me know when you are ready, and I will show you the way. The flag is everyone in a panic. The guards have lost control. So, yeah, the only way to get into is if you have this quest. 
I don't think I don't think factions characters are allowed to get in through here. Okay. Why are there so many warnings? Take me there already. Master Togo. Master Togo is down there, and he's in trouble. What are we going to do? Well, I don't know about you, but I didn't come all the way from Lion's Arch for a funeral. Little history lesson here. So they will reveal the Oracle. Is that who this is? Hero is such a good character. Look for fortune to come your way. Oh. Maybe she was onto something. He thinks to himself. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, we lost all of the faction's henchmen. And we have the prophecy's henchmen, plus a few other ones to to um fill us out. Like we don't have Menlo because he's required, I think. But we have the the remaining members of the team from prophecies plus some of these extra choices. That's something I'm gonna cover probably in the next video is like, what are all the skills these henchmen have? Um, actually, let's look at them now. Okay, so here are the faction henchmen. Uh, I can pull them up now. Uh, this shows from Xingje Monastery. We're obviously not there. We are at Caning City. So it looks like Devona is already using faction skills. Uh, what other henchmen can we choose from? We can have Devona, Eve, Aiden, Sin. Yeah, let's look at let's look at Jaime, Vong, Emmy, and Chio. Jaime has emphatic removal. You and target other ally lose one condition, one hex, and are healed for fifty. So this is like a Double a double heal. Uh, she's got some party wide healing. Her and Sister Ty almost have the same healing skills. We got a really nice resurrection skill. And who else? Vang Vong. Eve is now. You saw a blood ritual, but she's using vampiric spirit. 
steal up to 50 health from target foe for 10 seconds you have 10 health regeneration that's a huge health healing skill Stu uses animated flesh golem that's awesome um vang lightning surge after target after three seconds target foe is knocked down so he's an air elementalist and is there one more uh emmy and chio emmy is using temple strike which causes blindness has an interrupt extra damage versus enchantments unblockable and some self-healing and condition removal and then chio signet of spirits whoa so chio is super powerful to bring signet of spirits is one of the best uh ritualist skills you can bring as on a hero and some really good healing abilities so chio is a really good a, a good um option for areas that don't have or so for people who don't have the ritualist heroes later on um very cool we're gonna add them but yeah, uh, this is a good place to stop for as a first mission, a first episode, kind of an introductory episode for the new playlist, which will be covering factions. I'm going to be planning to do all of factions with henchmen, so uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks again for everyone who voted, and if you're bummed out about me not taking the path that you voted for, I'm sorry, uh, but we will get there eventually. We'll we'll. We'll, we're going to do factions, and then I'm guessing Elona, and then finally Eye of the North will probably be the last uh, route we'll do. If there's any other uh, chances for votes or th paths we can take, like like coming up, we're going to have a choice of which faction we're going to choose, Kurzik or Luxon. Uh, I might make a poll for that. So, yeah, you'll still get a say in whatever you want uh, in future content coming content coming up so anyway thanks for watching stay tuned for the next episode where we do the zuna square foreign quarter and yeah if you want to join in in this mission it would be kind of cool to have people in the foreign quarter as well as the local quarter uh to have like a huge huge party uh so to speak so anyway stay tuned for that uh and thanks bye